So you are a Christian and you believe that there is one God, he is, he is Allah, and Jesus is his messenger, he is his prophet. Same, same Muhammad. Same, same Muhammad. So you are not a Christian, but you are a Muslim if you have this belief. You know that? I don't know. I, uh, I'm a Christian. I follow Jesus. You know, Jesus had a long beard, right? I have a long beard. <laughs> you know, Jesus used to pray, right? Jesus used to pray. I pray the same way Jesus used to pray. He put his head on the floor. I put my head on the floor. Five times a day. Sim, sim. Yeah. Sujood, prostration. So Jesus was a Muslim. I am a Muslim because I submit to the one God and I follow Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. So the only way to salvation, the only way to salvation is through the guidance that the last messenger came. You agree with me, Christopher? Um, for me, Jesus Christ is God alone. For you, Jesus Christ is God alone. Okay, but Jesus used to pray. If he prayed, then how is he God? Do you pray? Why do you pray? Because he is God. No, no. Do you pray, Christopher? Yeah. Why? Uh, because, you know, Jesus Christ is, uh, is my everything, you know. He can give everything to you. Uh, Jesus was a human. Jesus, he, Jesus said in John chapter 5, verse 30, I of my own self can do nothing. Jesus said this in the Bible. Alone I can do nothing. So how is he God? How can he give you everything? You know, one day a man came to Jesus and he said, Oh, teacher of good, teach me how to live for eternity. Jesus said, Who do you call good? I am not good. He alone is good. Jesus said this in the Bible. So in the Bible, there is a different teaching than the teachings that you are following. Sorry, sir. I, I am not prepared for that. <laughs> it's not about preparation, yeah. sir. It's about belief. I'm just... Uh, don't, by the way, this is just a dialogue, a friendly dialogue. Don't feel offended, right? Okay, you're not offended. Don't take anything personal. It's just question and answer. Okay? Now, what we said is, Jesus prayed, and Jesus got weak, and Jesus got sick, and Jesus died on the crucifixion. Jesus died on the crucifixion, according to the Bible, right? The Bible says Jesus died on the crucifixion. If He is God, how could He die? God must be powerful. God must have strength, right? So how did He die? Uh, he need to die because He will pay the whole sin, you know? So if you commit a sin right now, it's okay? Because Jesus died for your sins, it's okay if you commit a sin right now? Give Him a knife, let Him slaughter me. Please give Him a knife, let Him slit my throat. <laughs> no, this doesn't make sense. You know what happened? When, when Jesus left this world, the enemies took His book and they twisted the meanings. They put in the crucifixion. That wasn't in the book. The, the original teachings of Jesus is different than the belief that you believe in. But sadly, or actually fortunately, they left some teachings inside that is consistent with the original teachings of Jesus. You said Jesus died for our sins. If Jesus died for our sins, that means if I accept Jesus, if I accept Jesus, I could commit any sin I want because Jesus died for my sins, right? So that means I could kill anybody, I could cheat, I could lie, I could steal. Am I right or wrong? Makes sense? Uh, no, I just respect your, uh, your belief and that's it, you know. Uh, you could respect my belief, you have the right to, it's okay. But we're talking, we're speaking logically here. Things that make sense, yeah? Things that make sense. Juju, he said Jesus died for our sins. If Jesus died for our sins, that means we could commit crimes, right? Because he died for our sins. Jesus used to pray. That means there is a God that Jesus used to pray to. That means Jesus was a Muslim, one who submits to the one God. He believed in one God, he worshipped him alone. He knew that his God is going to judge him on the day of judgment. You see, that is why after him came Muhammad. Jesus told us in the Bible that there is another prophet who's going to come after me. His name is Ahmed. Ahmed means Muhammad. Muhammad means praiseworthy. So Jesus told us a prophecy that there will be another prophet who will come after me. His name is Muhammad. It's mentioned in the original Bible, which we won't find nowadays. Why? Because they played with it. They twisted. They plagiarized. They added some lies, fabrications in it. So we believe that Jesus was a righteous man. He was a prophet. He was a messenger. And Muhammad came after after him as the last messenger. We follow the last messenger and by following him, we are following Jesus, Moses and all the other prophets. Does this make sense? 
wala eh. I respect your belief sir no that's that's it so uh, thank you thank thank you sir thank you sir no, I don't want to <laughs> Christopher do you feel uncomfortable no I don't want you to you know I know what you mean I know it's okay Christopher I like you you know why because you didn't lie to me and say, yes, I believe, and you don't believe. You didn't do hypocrisy, you know? You stood firm for your belief. But you're going to do me a favor, please. Look into this more. Do more research about it. Perhaps you will find something that you never found before. You will discover some information that you never learned about before. If you truly respect my belief, do more research about it, please. Why? So that you can learn more about Islam. Since you are living in a Muslim country and you know that Jesus is one who we believe in, we believe in Jesus, yeah? And we respect him because he is mentioned in the Quran. So will you do more research about this or not? Uh, for me, uh, I believe uh, Jesus, Jesus Christ is God, you know? Uh, if what you... If what... Uh, <laughs> All right, Christopher, can I give you a hug? Of course, why not? Please. Thank you. Thank you. Juju, come over here, please. Juju, you said there is one God, right? His name is Allah. Oh, because we read Quran and uh, we read Bible for Christian. Good. So you believe Jesus is a messenger? Maybe I read the uh, Quran. Last prophet Muhammad, Jesus is a prophet, same same Muhammad. Would you like to follow Jesus and Muhammad? I... <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think this information was valuable that I shared with you tonight? Maybe. You need to learn a little bit more about Islam now? Uh, I don't... Because we are a uh, Christian. I understand. I respect that. You're a Christian, I respect that. And you know, we don't force anybody to become Muslims. Force, because I, my brother is a Muslim, me a Christian. I read about Quran, about Bible, Jesus Christ. I can talking about Muhammad, and Jesus Christ. I love Muhammad. Do you love him? No comment. Do you love Jesus? <laughs> no comment. Do you love Jesus? <laughs> no comment. No comment. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.